Well, reason for the call today, John, is something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. First, we're going to learn the EQ by cleaning this a cappella. Let's hear it. Oh, ho, this is too noisy. Let's clean it by using parametric EQ. But first, let's know how it works. On the upper side, you can see it has four bands. On to the right side, we have low shelf, peak, and high shelf. Let's talk about low shelf first. When we decrease the gain a bit, it reduced the left-hand side, I, I mean lower frequency. In high shelf, it decreases the higher frequency. And finally, the peak. Peak is the most useful one. It allows us to increase and decrease the certain frequencies. About this roundy guy. It allow us to move wildly. Ah, uh, I mean, it's basically. We can move right to left, left to right. Got that. And lastly, this bandwidth guy. It makes peak frequency thinner or bigger. Now let's clean the acapella. Set to the peak, then increase the gain between 10 to 11 decibel. Set bandwidth to zero. Now play the acapella and find the unwanted frequency by moving the frequency guy. And here it is. And now we have to decrease the gain around negative 1 to negative 3 decibels. And one more thing, don't go below negative 3 decibel. If you lower all the way down, then it's feel like it's lacking that frequency. So be aware of that. And like that, we have to find all the unwanted frequency and decrease them to make it clean. Play the music. And after playing million times and EQing, it's time to add reverb. Let's mess with reverb settings first. Now finally it's time to use ear powers to reverb this thing. <laughs> After reverbing this, it's time to add some delay. For delay, I am using the Multi-FX. Click on Multi-FX and leave it as it is, and you are done. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, we not around, we go that to the side, I get those goosebumps every time. Did you hear that cool delay? It's cool, isn't it? And by the way, I posted this story on my Instagram account, and I got some questions there, so I am going to answer that questions in a separate video. On to that note, it's time to end this tutorial. Hope you learned something today.